Now we have a little bit of a problem to solve, and that is that we've managed to get a really high concentration of sodium and other solutes down here in the medulla. But how are we going to feed the medulla with oxygen and nutrients? And that may seem like a weird question to be bringing up right now. Why does that have anything to do with raising the concentration out here? Well, the reason that this has something to do with concentration is that normally how you feed uh, tissue with oxygen and nutrients is to supply it with blood, right? So you send some capillaries down there and you pass blood through them and that blood carries oxygen and nutrients and supplies the tissue. But the problem is that if we send capillaries here through the medulla, what are they going to do? They're going to wash away all this high concentration that we worked so hard to achieve. Because that's what capillaries do in general. That's one of the purposes of the circulatory system is to wash away things that are in excess. So for example, your blood system can wash away wastes that build up in a tissue. They wash away carbon dioxide. They wash away other organic molecules. And if we weren't really careful, they would wash away all of this high concentrated solute that we built up. The reason capillaries are so good at washing stuff away is that pretty much as a rule, they're fairly leaky. Now they're not always gonna be as leaky as the glomerulus capillaries are, which is very leaky, but they're usually gonna be fairly leaky because there are usually gaps between the endothelial cells that let fluid equalize pretty easily between inside and outside. So what are we gonna to do to solve this problem? Well, the kidney basically has two solutions to the problem. The first is something that you might think of, which is low flow. So the kidney sends very little blood down into the medulla, as little as it has to, just enough to supply the tissues down here, but no more. That way it minimizes how much of this high concentration gets washed away. And the second intelligent thing that the kidney does is that instead of sending blood vessels through this way, in which case they would equalize with the high concentration here in the medulla and then get washed away, it sends them through a more intelligent path. It actually sends them through a path that mirrors the loop of Henle. So it goes something like that. Now, why is that intelligent? That's intelligent because the concentration up here is much lower than the concentration down here. So where the blood is kind of leaving, it's leaving at a place where there's lower concentration. So the blood will equalize or come close to equalizing with this lower concentration out there. And so that means that when the blood kind of leaves the capillary bed and goes back to you know, a, a vein or a venous vessel and goes back to systemic circulation, at that point, the blood has equalized with a lower concentration area, so it's going to pull less solute away. So the first solution was low flow, and the second one is that it follows a loopy path. Now these capillaries that come down and feed the medulla have a very specific name. They're called the vasa recta. And we've kind of drawn them materializing out of nowhere here. So that's obviously not what happens. So where are they coming from? Well, if you remember, we said that blood comes into the glomerulus through the afferent arteriole, and then it leaves the glomerulus through the efferent arteriole, and then it goes into the peritubular capillaries. And so let's draw a peritubular capillary bed there. And those peritubular capillaries feed the kidney. So let's give these their name. These are the peritubular capillaries. And it turns out that these vasa recta are paratubular capillaries. So they are special paratubular capillaries that dive down into the medulla to feed the medulla. And what's interesting is that these vasa recta specifically come off of the efferent arteriole of juxtamedullary nephrons. So they would come off of here, dive down and come back up. And since they're a capillary, we should probably draw it as a capillary bed rather than just one vessel. And so they're coming off of the efferent arteriole of a juxtamedullary nephron. And that makes sense because the juxtamedullary nephrons are closer to the medulla, which is where we want our vasa recta to go.